This video is sponsored by those wonderful bastards at NordVPN. Hey guys, so when it comes to computers, I'm a bit of a strange fart. Like I do all my computing and video editing on a Mac, but I game on Windows. Basically, up until now, I've had a decent mid-range Windows gaming laptop and my MacBook Pro plugged into my monitor's HDMI and DisplayPort so that I could switch between them when I wanted to. But switching my keyboard and mouse back and forth is about as fun as drinking bleach. And aesthetically speaking, it looked like someone from a one night stand the next morning. Hey, baby. But since the launch of High Sierra, eGPU support is starting to be a thing, so I decided to spend, um, a shitload of money. So, what do you get for a shitload of money? Uh, well, let's start with the Mantis Venus eGPU enclosure. The Venus is an amazing enclosure because it basically acts as a dock, really. So, it comes in space gray to match my MacBook, has five USB 3.0 ports, an Ethernet port, which is so awesome, and a SATA connection inside for an SSD. Basically, everything I need and want. The side just pops off so you can throw in your GPU or SSD or even swap out the power supply if you wanted to upgrade, but it comes with a 550 watt PSE with 375 watts dedicated to the GPU and 87 watts of power delivery for keeping my MacBook Pro fully charged up, which is pretty sweet, whereas some enclosures only put out about 15 to 45 watts of power delivery. The fuck am I supposed to do with that? Plug in the actual MacBook charger to one of the other Thunderbolt 3 ports? <laughs> Don't be silly. So basically the Mantis Venus is one of the best enclosures with the most features on the market right now. It's also one of the most expensive, not the most expensive, but more expensive than most at about 400 bucks. Next thing I needed was an SSD to store all my Windows games on with my bootcamp partition so I don't rob from my MacBook's internal storage. So for that, I grabbed a 500 gig Samsung Evo 850. Nothing crazy like the Evo 950 Pro or anything like that. So just enough for faster load times at a reasonable price. Next is the star of the show, the EVGA GTX 1080 for the win 2, which ran me about 900 bucks. This thing is a beast. Now, I could have saved a ton of money by getting a 1070 or 1070 Ti, but since you lose around 10 to 20% of a GPU's performance through Thunderbolt 3 connections, I wanted to make sure I got something substantial to offset the performance loss. I mean, I could have got a 1080 Ti, but like, have you seen the price differences between a 1080 and a 1080 Ti? Dude, no. I also could have went with a Vega 56 or 64, but first, they're like impossible to find in stock anywhere. And also, most importantly, my monitor supports G-Sync, so it kind of made the most sense to go with an NVIDIA card. So the last piece of the puzzle for me was a one meter long Thunderbolt 3 cable so that I can separate my MacBook from the eGPU instead of using the super short cable that came with the enclosure and having them both literally right beside each other. And you actually have to be really careful when choosing a cable because what you want is a cable that supports full Thunderbolt 3 speeds as well as one that provides high power delivery. So for instance, mine cost me 120 bucks which is totally absurd. Like I almost shit myself after I hit the checkout button, but it's one of the very few I could find that supports up to 100 watts of power delivery as well as full Thunderbolt 3 speeds at one meter in length. So just be careful when picking a cable. Now you're probably all wondering what kind of performance you can expect to get from something like this, right? Well, running the GPU's stock clock speeds and connected to my Acer Predator Z35P at 3440 by 1440 in Overwatch on ultra settings, I'm getting averages of 120 FPS. With Battlefield 1 on ultra settings, I'm getting about 50 FPS. And with Fortnite on epic settings, I'm getting about 60 FPS. And temperatures stay well in check, never going above 68 degrees Celsius while playing any game. Part of that is thanks to the GPU's fancy internal heat sensors, and part is thanks to the enclosure's exhaust fan as well as just good old fashioned airflow, which the Mantis Venus has plenty of. And I think that's pretty damn good considering all the bottlenecks like Thunderbolt 3, um, the older Intel i7-6920HQ in my 2016 MacBook Pro, as well as the bloody stovetop temperatures it produces, causing some throttling from time to time. So, you know, with all that, I get desktop grade GPU performance on the Mac side, but I can also shred games and make little snot-nosed kids scream at the top of their lungs like a true 
PC gamer on the Windows side, all with a nice and sharp looking minimalistic setup. But yeah, this is about as far from cost effective as it gets, but based on my needs and wants, an eGPU setup was worth it and made the most sense to me, even if everyone, including my wife, calls me an idiot. Speaking of idiots, we all like to browse shady sites and look up stupid things from time to time. Like if people knew the type of shit I look up just out of curiosity, they'd think I was a bloody lunatic. Well, NordVPN is offering a 77% off discount on their three year plan so that you can browse with complete peace of mind so that no one, and yes, that includes your wife or girlfriend, will be able to find out about your side chick. I mean, track your browsing data. And the protection doesn't stop at just your browsing data. NordVPN also has something called CyberSec Security to block pop-up ads, auto-playing videos, and even block malicious sites. They even do something called Double VPN so that your data gets encrypted twice over for that extra layer of protection. Uh, they've got apps for Windows computers, Mac computers, iOS, and Android, and they've got a ton of various server options to choose from on the fly, depending on what type of protection you're needing at the time. So go give them a try and use discount code NordVPN dot org slash Jared Bush to get 77% off. But that about does it for this one. Um, I'll have links for everything in the description below in case you're looking at an eGPU setup too. If you like the video, show me some love at that like button. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Cheers.